Hello and welcome to another session on speed mathematics. So we are going to take up division today. Now for me, uh, division was very hard process. So I never loved division process and I am sure most of you also uh, would be finding division lengthy, very mechanical and too boring and at times too erroneous as well. So hence, during any calculations in exams any competitive exam when division comes in we try to evade that process so is there a way to simplify division process we have learned the long division method where there's a dividend there's a divisor and we keep on devising dividing it till we get a quotient and remainder so uh, we have observed that process and we have come up with or it's not that we have discovered this process this is uh, if you put a little bit of mathematics behind it you will uh, understand how the process which we are going to discuss works so this division is uh, what we are going to take up is first of all is division by a two digit number so you can take any large number and uh, uh, and we are dividing them these numbers by uh, uh, numbers which are closer to multiples of tens for example if i have to divide seven five 213 let's say 75213 is a random number and let's say in a calculation you are encountering this thing so you have to divide it by 29 now this is very ugly division process so if you go by the you know normal long division method and hence you have to remember or otherwise calculate the multiples of 29 isn't it so you will start like you know two times so this is 58 and then you will do 27 and then 272 and blah 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 like that you will continue is it but this process is tedious and at times you will do a lot of or you will make a lot of errors as well so we have come up with a new process or as i told you this is not the process that we have discovered it's there in practice and you can also see the arithmetic behind it uh, how it works so basically the underlying process is simply this so any dividend any dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder you would have encountered this relation a lot many times right so underlying philosophy is this only how it works will take another session so in this session what we are going to do is demonstrate how to divide it little you know quickly and not only with 29 let's say the same number has to be divided by 39 59 and 68 27 like that so what to do right so hence there is a process let's learn that process so the process you need to uh, you know pay attention to and uh, it will be little uh, demanding in terms of your understanding in the first few cases and then later on you will yourself uh discover this process yourself right so hence let's say i'm dividing this by 29 this is the question so first step is you segregate the last digit why is that because that will be uh helpful in terminating the process what we are going to do okay so this is the first step right so what is step one step one is segregate or isolate the last or unit space units place digit so when i say segregate you don't need to write it separately or something just put a line just like this so that you know that this is the last process second thing is find out how close the divisor so what is divisor this is divisor so how close it is to the nearest multiple of 10 so the nearest multiple of 10 nearest you have to find out nearest multiple of 10 10 for a divisor now here it might appear that it is taking a lot of time because i am explaining the process once you are thorough with the process it will hardly take 10 seconds maximum to solve this or lesser it's practice okay so the nearest multiple of 10 for a divisor in this case is 30 so that means you have to add 1 to get that 30 so i'm writing this like this so add 1 to get 30 okay now your divisor is 3 now don't you think dividing by 3 is much easier than dividing by 29 but yes it will not be the regular division process there will be few modifications which you need to learn 
So hence, what did we do? We found out a synthetic divisor. Why synthetic? Because I am dividing with a new number which was not given in the or in the question. Let's say it was not demanded in the question. Synthetic divisor in this case is three. Okay, and uh, this plus one factor also you remember or keep in mind. Okay, now what to do? Now you can divide using three. So treat this as the new dividend and start dividing. So hence, let me put a bar over here. So let's say three times. 3 times 2 is 6. So that's what I'm writing, just like the normal division. So what is the remainder, guys? 1. Now, what you need to do is you need to take this one and put it here. So 1 and 5 becomes 15. So keep the number 15 in mind. So this you have to do in mind. So hence I'm giving you shortcut. So 1, this remainder goes and just for remembering purposes, I have written it here 1 and then 5. So 15. Now to this, add the previous quotient you got so 2 so the new dividend is now 15 plus 2 17 once again so this was the remainder in the first division process i put this here and now 1 and 5 together i am treating as 15 add the previous quotient so that is 2 15 plus 2 17 now go for the division again so now new quotient will be 3 5s are 15 is it it so 15 what is the remainder? 2. The process repeats now. This 2, you take it and make it sit here. So 2. 2 and 2, 22. Right? So this number is 22. Add the previous quotient. So 22 plus 5, 27. Right? So this is the new dividend. Okay? Now divide again. 3 times 9 is 27. So gone. This is 0. Right? Right now, what you have to take this zero and take it here and add what the previous quotient so zero plus zero one that is one plus nine that is ten. So the new dividend is ten. Now divide again three times three is nine. So hence one is the remainder. Okay, now you take this one and put it over here. So one and three, thirteen. So you have put 1 over here, 13, add this number 3 to it. So what will you get? 13 plus 3, 16. So this is the last step. You have to check if the last step, whatever you get, 16, is less than the divisor. So 29. It is true. Hence, this will be the last step. That means we are not going to divide it further. Let's say if the last step, you would have got 33. Okay, last step, you would have got 33. Then you can see that 33 is more than 29 then whatever quotient you had got you have to just add 1 to it why because if you divide 33 33 is 29 times 1 plus 4 so whatever quotient you had got you had to add 1 there and the remainder would have been 4 but in this case 16 is less than 29 so i don't so i don't need to add anything so q will be simply 25 Nine three and remainder is sixteen. Now this process will take some time for you to digest, but never mind. We will so show this with one more example. Okay, so let's say we have another example. We have to divide two six nine one four three big number two six nine one four three using or by divisor forty nine. Now, during in physics calculation, acceleration due to gravity is 98, or 9.8, sorry. So 9.8 by 2 is 4.9. So usually we get such scenarios. We have to divide by 49 or something. So 269143 has to be divided by 49. Again, so what do you do? First step is isolate the last digit. So I have isolated the units place digit. Now, here is where I am going to calculate it. Yeah, so this is the bar i will write the quotient above it okay nearest multiple of nearest multiple of 10 is 50 so i'm adding so my synthetic divisor is 5 now it will be easier to divide by 5 very very quick so 5 times 5 is 25 so start like that isn't it so what is the remainder 1 what did i say put this one here treat it as 19 and add what 5 to it so 19 plus 5 is 24 
so write 24 now this is a new dividend divide by 5 so 5 times 4 is 20 correct remainder is 4 so this 4 i will write here 41 i will treat it as 1 41 plus 4 45 so new dividend is 45 now again divide by 5 so 5 5 5 nines are 5 nines are 45 isn't it 5 nines are 45 so 0 now put this 0 here so 0 4 plus this 9 is 13 so new dividend is 13 divide by 5 so 5 twos are 10 so remainder is 3 put this remainder here so it becomes 33 33 plus this 2 35 now 35 is the last step why because 35 is less than 49 so i'll stop here so remainder is 35 and your quotient is 5492 guys you can check that right so hence if you see 269143 is equal to 49 times 5492 in plus 35 you can check that so this is a quotient and this is the remainder right let's take one more example it will become much easier to understand now another example is i am dividing 7 1 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 2 by by 79 divide by 79 now if you have gone with the regular division process it will take a lot of time and multiples of 79 as well so see how quickly i am going to divide it now so here is the first step now plus 1 makes it 80 so the synthetic divisor is 80 so let me put a line over here now how to go about it okay so 8 uh 8 8 just 64 so to start 8 8 just 64 so 64 what is the difference 7 7 has to be written here so 73 73 plus 8 is 81 so this is the new divisor 8 times 10 now here is a new thing 8 times 10 you are getting a quotient with two digits so you write the units place here 0 and the 1 here as a carry okay so remember this so the moment you get two digit as a quotient so you have to write only the units place as the uh, you know the number here and the one goes as a carry okay good so 80 8 into time 8, 10 is 80 so remainder is 1 sorry remainder is 1 now this 1 comes and sits here so this becomes 14 plus the previous quotient which was 10 so the new dividend is 24 now what 8 times 3 is 24 okay remainder is 0 this remainder sits here becomes 5 5 plus 3 becomes 8 itself so 8 so 5 plus this 3 becomes 8 so 8 times 1 8 times 1 is 8 and remainder is 0 so this remainder sits here 0 plus 2 0 2 is the new dividend plus 1 0 3 0 3 correct but now we have you know uh, arrived at the last step so this is the remainder since it is less than 79 and the quotient is very clearly you can see 8 and now here 8 plus 1 has to be added so it becomes 9 0 3 1 so this is the quotient and 3 is the remainder so I could do this within very small amount of time. One more with slightly different uses. Okay. So let's take one more example to understand this. So 7, 1, 3, 6, 2, 9. Let's say randomly you are taking 3, 6, 2, 9 and let's say 5 and 4. Very big number. 7, 1, 3, 6, 2, 9, 5, 4. And you have to divide it by, let's say, 89. Okay. So what you need to do, you already know that you have to first isolate the last digit. So isolate it for termination, right? Now, let us now put a bar over here and start dividing. But before that, synthetic divisor has to be found out. So this 0 goes 9. is the near, 90 is the nearest multiple, so 9. Okay, and start with 9, division with 9. So 9, 7 is 63, no doubt. Remainder is 8. This remainder sits here, becomes 83. So 83 plus 7 is new uh, dividend, 90. But now 9 times 10. So as I told you in the previous example, if you have two digits in the quotient, write one here and the other one as carry. Okay, so 9 times 10 is 90. So write 90, remainder is 0. 0 goes here, sits here. 0, 6 is the new number plus the previous quotient that is 10. So 6 plus 10 is 16. Now 9 times 1, again divide, you'll get 9, remainder is 7, 7 comes and sits here, 72 plus the 1, so 73 is the new dividend, divide now, so 8 times 
72 what do you get 1 as the remainder this one comes here and sits here so 19 plus 8 the previous 8 which will give you 27 correct divide again so 3 times 27 right so 0 0 comes and sits here so 0 5 plus the previous that is 8 0 8 right is the new dividend but 0 8 will go 0 times so you'll get 0 the remainder is 0 8 only so this 8 comes and sits here 84 plus the previous quotient this 0 so 84 plus 0 remains 84 so this is the last step this is my remainder which is less than 89 and my quotient is 70 no not 70 7 plus 1 will be the first digit why your carry has to be added so 801830 so this is the uh, 801830 is the quotient and remainder is 84 you want you can check with the calculator this will be the output